Hello and welcome to Extra. I'm Dana Devon in for Maureen O'Boyle. We begin with the airlines making it tougher for you to travel with your pets this summer. The reason? Airlines say it's simply getting too risky for them to guarantee your precious cargo will arrive safely. A fact several travelers have learned the hard way. Les Trent has our extra investigation. It's a traumatic journey for any pet. Crowded into a cage, loaded onto the cargo hold for a bumpy ride 30,000 feet. But for many pet passengers, it's more than just cramped and scary. Many animal activists say every year, thousands of these four-legged friends are lost, injured, or die while being transported. It was a complete shock to me because that's the last thing I'd expected. On Monday, Mike Bell was flying cross-country on United with his dog, Dakota. Halfway through the flight, Mike was told his beloved pet might not be alive. Dakota had mistakenly been loaded into the chilly forward cargo hold rather than the heated rear hold. I was stunned. I turned it white as a ghost. The pilot decided to make an emergency landing in Denver to check on Dakota's condition. So for like 45 minutes an hour, I was just agonizing of, of what's going on. Once on the ground, Dakota was found alive, but shivering. His crate was sitting on the tarmac, and I could look in, I could see him. He was sitting, and he was dazed. We have suffocations, we have crushings, we have not only the cargo hold problems, we have the handling problems. Nancy Blaney of the American Society for Prevention of Cruelty to Animals says pets sometimes suffer in cargo holds that are too hot or too cold, and they're often handled like luggage. They're in there with the golf clubs and the suitcases and the crates of oranges and everything else that's down in the cargo hold. Barbara Listenick thought her beloved dog Boris was stowed safely in the belly of a Delta airliner when she was moving from Florida to New York. But when she landed, Barbara received horrifying news. And they pull up a bloody empty carrier, and I was, I was freaked out. I was like, oh my god, what happened? Boris had somehow escaped from his cage, run across the tarmac, and disappeared into the streets of New York. It was a nightmare, a complete nightmare. Barbara searched the streets. She plastered Boris's picture everywhere, offering a $3,500 reward. She says the only help she got from Delta was a baggage claim form and $1,000. They said animals are considered luggage, and that's all that we can do. <laughs> Miraculously, six weeks later, someone found Boris, mangy, emaciated, with missing teeth that have since been replaced. It was uh, unbelievable to find a needle in a haystack. Because of incidents like Boris and Dakota's, airlines have been forced to take action. In April, Congress passed new legislation to make air travel safer for pets. It includes better training of airline personnel who handle pets, making available to the public a record of pet deaths and other incidents, and compensation to owners when pets are killed or harmed while being transported. The airlines pretty much had to be dragged kicking and screaming. Um, they opposed the legislation. But in addition to the new laws, some of the airlines have taken their own action. They've announced they will not fly pets in the cargo section over the hot summer months when many of these tragic incidents occur. Boy, give me a Give me a boy. The new laws and restrictions are good news to pet owners like Barbara Listenick. It's just nice to know that the cause will help several thousand animals a year become treated like pets and family members versus just luggage. Dakota did finish his cross-country trip. United Airlines bent the rules and let him sit in the passenger cabin with his owner. Now, if you have to travel your pet this summer, you can try using a professional animal transportation company. We have more information about them on our website. We're at extratv.com. Now to Angelina.